Hello you know, guys, it's Rocky here from Further Faster and uh, it's about that time of the week where we have a beer and we talk about some gear, you know, the beer o'clock review as we like to call it here at Further Faster. Okay, so uh, the beer festival, uh, this week I am drinking a Sawmill NZ Pale Ale and uh, it's bear beer, uh, which basically means it's alcohol free. You know, you know why has Rocky got alcohol free beer? Obviously there's great health benefits but it's also a 0% drop. So obviously the zero drop, my tagline, we are talking about ultra shoes, which we all know, if you do know, are zero drop shoes. Uh, and yeah, the beer actually is quite nice. You know, a lot of these alcohol free beers these days actually taste just as good as real beers, real beers but with all the benefits of being alcohol free. So if, you, if you're after an alcohol free drop, that's a sawmill, NZ beer, really good one time go at. Okay, on to the shoes. So, we have the new Lone Peak 7 in store now. Okay, so Lone Peak, this is Ultra's probably original trail shoe. Uh, it's the seventh iteration of it. Uh, it's been around uh, since the start of the brand, actually, to be quite honest. And it's, you know, a really, really popular trail shoe. So what have they done on the 7 as opposed to the 6? We're going to take a bit of a look at the shoe in its completeness and we'll see some of the differences. First of all, fit. They haven't changed the fit. It's still the original standard ultra fit, really comfortable. It's got your big toe box there for your feet to be uh, naturally splayed out. And it's nice and roomy through the mid. Um, so the fit hasn't changed at all. What they've really tried to do with this, I think the seven is, they've toughened the shoe up a little bit uh, from the previous um, iteration, the, the six which I've got here. Um, I guess a lot of people are using these trail running, but also a lot of people are using these for hiking as well. And they're getting bashed around a bit by the hikers. So they're, they're toughening it up a wee bit. First of all, the front of the shoe is very different. Now the front of the shoe has got a full bumper, as opposed to the six, which had uh, more drainage going on here and lines of stitching through here. So you are losing the drainage here, which, you know, plus and minuses to that. But what you are gaining is a much tougher toe box and no stitching, which is always going to be good. Uh, less stitching on a shoe, less things can go wrong. And so that, that, that's the front of it for sure. On the back of it, they've added stability to it as well. So the previous models, there's no real stability on there. So, you know, it's going to here, here, there and everywhere with it. With the new stability on this, it's just going to stiffen the shoe up a little bit at the back. It's going to give you a little bit more of grip for your heel as well. It'll just help with that little bit of pronating as well if you do suffer from a wee bit of that. Um, sole wise, I haven't really done much to the sole to be fair. It's still got uh, the Max Trax Ultra Zone sole on there, which is super grippy. It's quite luggy as well, quite deep lugs. They've just changed the back of this heel a little bit uh, from the six there, which was your standard, standard back there. They just chevron that out a little bit at the back there to give you a little bit more purchase going downhill. Um, same materials uh, throughout. It'll still take, obviously, the gator trap. You've still got that at the back there. So that's perfect. You can put the ultra gator on or anybody else's gator come to that, actually, as long as it works. The stack height is still the same as well. Still quite plush. Um, who is this shoe for? This is for somebody, you know, if you're new to zero drop and you say, oh, I want to, you know, dip my toes into it again, pardon that pun, into the world of zero, zero drop, this is probably the shoe we put you in. You know, they do a whole range of shoes, you know, this, they do the Timp, they do the Olympus, they do the Superior. But this is the one shoe that does everything. You know, you could happily go out and do a 50k trail running that. You know, you could uh, go through five pairs of York and the TA as well. So it's running, it's walking. It's a really comfortable shoe to use. And... Um, and that's 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 the new Lone Peak 7. Uh, we've got, you know, we're going to have most colours they do, to be quite honest. These are the four that have turned up so far. Uh, again, like I said, standard fit. There is going to be the extra wide fit coming in the Navy as well. And that'll be here, uh, hopefully, uh, very soon. Anyhow, brief overview on the new Lone Peak 7. On to a new shoe for us as well, ne right next to you. So, what we've got here is the new Outroad by Ultra. So, what is this? It's super light. This is a road to trail shoe. So, if, you, if, you, if you're after one shoe that does a bit of everything, if you're running road, or you're running trail, or you're having to run road to get to your trail, 
uh, this is possibly a definitely a shoe to look at um, sole wise it's still a good trail sole um, a lot a lot of cover on there to be quite honest so more cover and say so you got like on that so you've got you've got more studs on this it's going to be um, very comfortable uh, really easy really easy to run in you've got quite a plush midsole going on as well all the way all the way throughout uh, like I say it's, it's, it's lightweight if, you, if I was to compare it to any other shoe in the shop I'd say it's like Ultra's version of a Hoka Challenger which again is that is that uh, road to trail option so if you know if you want once you do everything it's definitely worth a look at obviously the difference is being Ultra it is zero drop this one doesn't come with, with the trail gator attachment at the back though so I think this is more going to be used by uh, you know trail park run that kind of thing easy trail or more lo low low distance road for want of a better word so that's a new out road by ultra uh, you know if you're going traveling and you know you didn't know where you would go you want to take one set of shoes what a perfect shoe to put in your back to be honest you know you could end up going for a little run you could do a park run abroad or you go for a little trail run that'd be the shoe i'd be looking at anyhow there you go that's the new lone peak seven which is fantastic and this is new out road by ultra um have a great weekend, guys, and uh, see you out on the trail soon. Bye.